Okay, uh, let's get started. Uh, so uh, thank you for uh, joining our session. Uh, we, uh, this time uh, we are going to have a panel discussion to discuss about uh, open, source, open source software sustainability in Japan. So uh, uh, this year uh, we uh, at the Japan, Linux Foundation Japan office, we have launched uh, uh, a program called uh, Evangelist. Uh, LF Japan LF Evangelist program. So uh, uh, we uh, basically you know, uh, asked you know, uh, leaders, open source leaders in Japan to become uh, evangelists uh, to promote uh, Linux Foundation's uh, projects uh, within the uh, uh, Japanese market. And they are it. And so uh, uh, in order for us to discuss about uh, open source sustainability in Japan, I uh, asked the uh, evangelist to get up on the stage and you know, uh, you know, share the best practice or share their thoughts about uh, sustainability of open source software. So uh, to start with, you know, I would like them to introduce themselves, uh, uh, basically, you know, uh, you know what, who they are and what they do uh, in open source industry. So uh, Watanabe-san, can you start from uh, yourself, please? Okay. So hi everyone, my name is Ayumi Watanabe. I'm working for Hitachi Solutions. Uh, it is IT company in Japan. And my specialty is uh, SBOM and open source management. So I am, uh, I would say I am a consultant, SBOM consultant. And uh, uh, today it is very uh, nice to be here as a panelist. So I am so excited and uh, I'm very looking forward to talk everything with uh, this uh, great panelist. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, hello, uh, I'm Yuichi Nakamura. Uh, I, I'm responsible for open source strategy in Hitachi. Uh, I, I was a contributor of SE Linux uh, more than uh, 20 years ago. Uh, recently, uh, uh, my specialty is um, cloud, cloud and security. Uh, last year, uh, I founded um, CNCF Japan chapter with um, community members. And uh, in this uh, summer, in this, uh, in this summer uh, I'm also launching a FinOps community in Japan. Uh, I'm, I'm happy to be here. Uh, so Thank you. Hi, I'm Muikeda. I'm working at Cybertrust Japan, the OSS division. And my mission, in my understanding, is to make engineers happy. And also, I'm a, a starting, one of the starting members of OSPO, which also help engineers. Thanks. Hi, I'm Shingo Fujimoto. I'm working for the Fujitsu. And uh, my specialty is blockchain, so the, uh, the world, uh, OSS community inside of the Linux Foundation is recently de-established as a uh, Linux Foundation decentralized trust that was reorganized from the hyperledger uh, used to be known. So the, uh, the, other, uh, the nature of the blockchain, we'd like to uh, the interconnect to the multiple ecosystem. So the, I'm become the, the Japan evangelist, and I'd like to use to the, my technical and uh, social uh, capability should be used to interwork with the Japanese and worldwide community. Thank you very much. Hello, I'm Masato Endo from Toyota Motor Corporation. Uh, my specialty is uh, open source supply chain management and uh, OSPO. Uh, from uh, seven or eight years ago, uh, I engaged in the OS uh, open source issue uh, such as uh, AGL, uh, ORN, uh, OpenChain, Todo, and so on. And uh, uh, in this January, I set up uh, Toyota's OS open source program office uh, to promote open source uh, in uh, Toyota. And uh, as an evangelist, uh, Japan evangelist, uh, I'm, I'm interested not only in industry, but also uh, university and the public sector uh, to promote open source is my, uh, uh, I, I think I, I'd like to uh, become my mission. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, everyone. So uh, uh, let's get start uh, the panel, uh, Q&As. So uh, uh, when you say, um, uh, you know, uh, 
do you remember you know, uh, the title of this panel is uh, Open Source Software Sustainability. So when you say uh, sustainability, uh, some of you may think that you know, sustainability as in uh, you know, things like you know, green tech or like uh, energy and power, stuff like that. But uh, uh, the sustainability here uh, we are talking about today is this. Right, so we are going to talk about you know uh, uh, how we can uh, sustain open source projects. Uh, in a way, it, it is growing and also it is becoming the it is uh, continuing to be uh, 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 valuable to uh, the company, the businesses and companies uh, uh, who actually uses and contributes to the open source project. So, uh, 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 so the, um, first of all, let me just you know, briefly touch upon uh, this uh, uh, open source software three P cycle. So, uh, if you come to uh, Open Source Summit Japan uh, uh, every year, uh, you know, uh, you know, Jim explains this, uh, uh, three, uh, you know, this three P cycles uh, every year. Basically, not this year, but you know, after, after years, uh, last year, you no, know, he basically talked about you know uh, this cycle every year. So, uh, projects, products. Profits, those three, three P's. So uh, we, you know, the business will take uh, uh, pr uh, take software from the, from the projects to pro uh, produce products. Then from the products, uh, company make profits, and then you know, uh, some of the profits bringing back to the community. So uh, the projects uh, become better and bigger, and uh, uh, you know, basically, you know, will become the sustainable. So in order for us to uh, uh, make open source project sustainable and make uh, uh, open source project continue to uh, uh, valuable to uh, to the businesses. We, you know we need to spin the, those cycle uh, always. So uh, the questions I would like to ask uh, the panelists is first of all uh, open source and business. So you know, obviously in you know, I think all of you faces project you know uh, faces issues right. You know in order to uh, uh, Take advantage of open source, or in order to uh, contribute to open source proje projects, everyone in this room uh, probably faced issues in the past, and some of you still continue to face the issues. So uh, I would like to ask the panelists uh, how uh, they are uh, actually, uh, well, what are the challenges actually you know, they are uh, facing, and how they uh, how they have overcome or. Uh, uh, how they uh, go, uh, uh, currently uh, are working to over overcome. So uh, 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 let me start with the uh, Watanabe-san. Uh, would you like to uh, uh, touch upon you know the challenges you you face and how you overcome in the past? Okay. So uh, I would like to share my experience about uh, uh, doing open source thing uh, in my company. So uh, it was maybe three years ago or two years ago. Uh, uh, my team member developed uh, a very cool uh, tool for uh, S1 uh, management, and uh, my team member uh, wanted to open, uh, wanted uh, wanted to make that uh, code open, open source. But uh, at that time, our company does not did not allowed. Uh, allowed to uh, do so uh, because of security issues and the compliance issues and uh, at that time there were uh, no rules to uh, open our code at that time. Uh, so it was our challenge and uh, at that time we, uh, <laughs> we are very uh, upset uh, 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 not to be allowed to do open source activity. Uh, but uh, uh, we negotiated with our supervisors uh, and uh, we finally got allowed to uh, uh, open our code uh, to GitHub. So it was our uh, challenges and over, uh, how we overcome that issues. So maybe uh, you guys have <laughs> the same experience, right? Uh, and. Uh, mm, uh, we were very lucky because our supervisors were uh, very, um, uh, very, very 
uh, how do I say, uh, welcome to uh, us, uh, welcome us to do open sourcing. Uh, but uh, I heard that some of some uh, Japanese companies, uh, in some of the Japanese companies, uh, we are now struggling uh, to uh, disclose our code open. So uh, maybe we should do something uh, collaborative. Uh, to uh, achieve this uh, as Japanese community. So what do you think the, uh, the key, um, I guess the, uh, uh, what, what was the main reason for your supervisor to finally you know, accept to make it open source? Is it money or is it you know, uh, any other things? What do you think? Uh, one reason is, uh, uh, they really think about our experience mm. as uh, IT uh, developers or engineers because uh, open source experience is really uh, nice uh, to do uh, 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 most for, how do I say, uh, junior uh, mm. people. So uh, uh, maybe it is a one reason uh, uh, they, uh, how do I say, they prior uh, our experience. And uh, mm, the, se the second uh, reason is maybe like uh, they thought uh, that open source activities uh, work, also work for our own business mm. because uh, doing open source stuff is a very good, uh, how do I say, influence. Uh, uh, to among uh, Japanese companies and our customers, of course. I yes, thank you so much. So one is the uh, talent development process, mm -hmm. first purpose, and the uh, other is maybe uh, money purpose. Yep. Okay, so, th so those are the key points to, uh, for your supervisors to uh, mm -hmm. finally accept your uh, proposal, I guess. Right, so Nakamura-san, uh, what is your uh, uh, experience? Yeah, my challenge is, um, um, my challenge is uh, um, combining um, business and the um, OSS contributor. Um, when I was young, uh, when I was young, uh, I, I was an uh, OSS contributor. Um, everything comes from technology, and when we make uh, money from technology, it's very hard. <laughs> I failed everything and cannot make any money, <laughs> and I failed. Uh, recently, uh, uh, we are changing. Uh, I'm changing. Um, Everything uh, business have to come come fast. Uh, open source is a, a method uh, to um, to solve um, customers' problem and uh, social problem. And so uh, one of the um, biggest challenge in my company is to uh, to make um, open source uh, involve, uh, to make open source involved in uh, our business strategy. Um, I think um, business strategy come, um, must come first. Then uh, how we, um, what kind of uh, open source should be used? And then the next, um, uh, what, uh, um, yeah, uh, what, uh, what have to be contributed to the community? So in Nakamura-san's case, uh, uh, in order to uh, start uh, contributing more to the open source community, you have to first uh, find out you know, uh, the business model, business, yes, yes. business, business, business model, and uh, kind of uh, get back casting from the business model to what you actually do in the open source uh, community. So that's how, we, that's how you do in the... Uh, yes, uh, it's a little uh, difficult. Um, yes, um, in, my, in my experience, uh, I was in charge of uh, API management business and we, uh, we developed a solution model of uh, API management solution. And then we choose uh, what kind of uh, software uh, should be used for our solution. And then uh, we investigate uh, everything, including uh, proprietary software. And in coincidence, uh, I chose uh, open source. <laughs> yeah. um, open source is uh, one of our method. <laughs> Thank you so much. Ikeda-san. Yes, um, in short, the challenge is money. <laughs> <laughs> no money, no one can survive. <clears throat> um, but uh, it is proven that uh, everyone is using open source. That means open source is very economical, right? So it's a problem, but executives doesn't understand, right? 
not good, not good enough. So James reported that uh, in Japan, Japan executive, 70% of Japan executives understand the value of the open source, which is lower than the global average. So the, we need to convince the executive to make, understand, make them understand the open source is valuable. So in that case, in my opinion, we need some index or metric to measure the uh, value of the open source. For example, well, just an example. Nowadays, um, the green contribution for environment is the, like a metric to measure the goodness of the company, right? Mm. So similar to that, we need some metric measure the company, how the company is good for open source. So, um, so the, just example, um, Jonathan Corbett is reporting every time the con number of the contribution for the Linux kernels release. The company name is listed. That is a very good example. Like that, we need some multiple metric to measure the company's goodness contribution for open source. That's uh, um, one idea for me. So you, uh, you created the metrics uh, to show the value of the open source yep. to the executive, and they actually you know, understand yes. value because of that. I think you should open source that metric uh, yes. <laughs> so that everybody can take advantage of it. Thank you so much. Um, Fujima-san, please. Thank you. Yeah, the, I myself, had a, had a, I totally agree with the, all other guys uh, mentioning about the, uh, the, such a challenges uh, or similar challenges we made. Uh, however, to the, uh, the, I would like to add the, the new uh, the, some something from the, my experience in the, our community, uh, LFDT, uh, Decentralized Trust, was uh, the working for the blockchain technologies. Uh, the, that is most likely to the, all the product will be uh, the provided as a source because of the, uh, the we need to be mutual trust for the users and the developers. Mm -hmm. And that was my uh, the initial thoughts. Uh, however, to the, when I was joined to the, uh, the actual developers community, I noticed that the most important things is uh, uh, the trust between the developers. Uh, because of the, uh, the none of the, uh, the open source uh, software never success uh, the without the trust for the other de uh, developers. Because of the so software is nowadays uh, heavy and complex, and very different technologies are incorporated as a parts. So the, uh, the first of all, we need to be know of each other in person or online, uh, the, who are the actually involving to the open source development. And then uh, the, we can be trust for the, uh, the the certain role for the uh, the. Uh, the part of the, uh, the development uh, which uh, we cannot uh, uh, the, the do by myself. So the, uh, the when uh, the we established such a uh, mutual trust, uh, the, the everything goes fast and easy and very uh, the stable. Uh, the, that was my experience about the, uh, the challenge and uh, that is beneficial at the, at the same time. Thank you. So it sounds like you, know, uh, you have been, uh, I guess, you know, uh, it, it was actually you know, uh, you, uh, uh, really smooth for you to be in part of the open source community and start working. And I think the company has the environment to allow you to work in the open source community from the start. What do you think the, uh, the um, uh, uh, I guess, what, what, what might be the, uh, the reason why Fujitsu was able to develop there? Uh, the kind of the environment for you? Uh, yes, <clears throat> uh, because of the uh, now the our uh, the strategy for the business uh, strategic view is uh, slightly from the productive uh, production level to the uh, the more like a sub providing to the services on the network uh, as a, uh, such as a cloud services. So the that case to the open source is uh, uh, the. the actually uh, the trust from the, our customers mm -hmm. because of the we are providing to the very open technologies are uh, used not the uh, the like uh, uh, the dedicated or the product uh, the vendor locked product was not be used uh, never be used by the other uh, our customers 
So the, uh, I think that the, uh, the, the people uh, made to the cloud is more a faster choice, uh, made uh, our company change our mind for the more openness, and that is more acceptance from the executive level to the developers at the end. So that is my understanding of the, <laughs> so the, uh, not only the, our company, uh, the society changed to accept or more useful to think, I uh, think uh, the open source is more useful to be our life. That is my understanding. Thank you so much. So endo -san, please. Yeah, so when I conducted uh, such type of lec lecture or seminar uh, about open source, uh, some other companies engineer coming to me and to say that uh, I'd like to contribute to the community, but uh, our IP or legal division uh, directly <coughs> that, or it is very difficult to uh, change the understanding of the executives. So I think uh, uh, my challenge is uh, to change the culture or understanding of the open source uh, because uh, to uh, joining open source community is not only mere volunteers, but also it is a direct connect uh, to the business. Uh, so, but uh, uh, it is, there are many business models uh, inside the open source world. So we, uh, uh, we uh, investigate and uh, we are making the materials for everyone. Uh, with uh, uh, open chain people uh, to the group people, and uh, we uh, disclose that uh, with ourselves and uh, uh, with uh, government people or uh, tech media people. So uh, how to uh, change the uh, mindset and the culture is very important thing for me. Mm, I see. So uh, what are the <coughs> actual uh, initiat uh, initiative you actually did uh, within the uh, within Toyota uh, to? Uh, change the corporate culture? Any like a specific example you can talk about? Uh, yes, so I think uh, our, our company is also very traditional companies and uh, uh, almost all people are engaged in the hardware. Mm. So it is very difficult to understand the uh, open source issues. But uh, I think uh, uh, to understand the technology uh, is a uh, uh, common uh, understanding of for we are, we are maker, we are around the company. So uh, we uh, share the uh, open source concept and uh, uh, how to uh, create the software all over the world uh, is uh, uh, to inform that is very important thing, I think. Yes, thank you so much. Okay, so uh, I did one, one question and took us quite, long, uh, quite a long time, a lot of time. So, uh, I will uh, change my direction uh, 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 for the second question. Uh, you know, I was going to ask you know, uh, uh, as a second question. Uh, we, I, I wanted to ask you know how we attract more people to come to op uh, open source community. You know, you know. Uh, so, I mean, obviously, you know, uh, uh, talents, open software development, development talents are uh, the key resource uh, to uh, make the uh, community sustainable. But how, how we can do it? But you know, uh, uh, it is going to be very difficult to uh, ask this question to everyone. So. Please raise your hand if you want to say something. <laughs> okay. Okay. Volunteers? We are shy boys. <laughs> uh, I, Sorry, I think uh, I, everyone look at the endo san. So, uh, endo san, what about? <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, so, when uh, I joined the uh, OSS uh, Summit Japan uh, three or four years ago, uh, I met one uh, my company's engineer, and uh, he said that uh, I decided to join the Toyota mm. uh, because uh, Toyota uh, uh, promotes AGR. Mm. This is a very big uh, promote activities, mm. not only for development. So I think uh, to show uh, such type of uh, attitude is very important uh, for acquire uh, to uh, get a new. Uh, new employees and uh, to keep them is also uh, important because uh, even if uh, we uh, get from the other industries, engineers, uh, some engineer uh, will be uh, dis disappointed if uh, we, we can't do the uh, open source com community issues, mm. community works. So we, sh we, direct, we uh, have to uh, promote the open source uh, community works and uh, to promote uh, to show that uh, we uh, support the community and uh, you can 
uh, do the community works inside uh, our company. It's very important things uh, for all Japanese companies. I see. So Toyota uh, these years you know, uh, contribute to many uh, projects. Uh, to many uh, open source projects and you know, showing the attitude that you know, open source, uh, Toyota is contributing to the open source community, right? Yep. So is, is that actually working uh, uh, to uh, uh, bring in more software talents to open, uh, Toyota? It works? Yes, so I think uh, it depends on the situation of the <laughs> project. But uh, uh, our OSPO uh, works uh, every time for every engineer. So if uh, some engineer becomes a uh, difficult situation, uh, we support it. So I think to, to uh, make uh, OSPO is uh, one purpose is that. Before that, uh, we have uh, support engineers by volunteers. Mm. So it has a, a very limited time and uh, limited resources, like a budget or uh, human resources also. Uh, so uh, we decided to make the OSPO uh, to uh, support the engineers uh, continuously. So uh, well, uh, we decided that. I see. So anyone? Would you like to say anything about you know, uh, bringing open source talents to your company or to your projects? Yes. Please. Uh, in, in Hitachi, uh, we are making positions uh, for open source specialists hmm. and making career paths uh, with open source specialists, uh, starting from a um, no, normal engineer. And the uh, uh, next position is a senior open source specialist. And, and the next is the chief open source specialist and master open source specialist. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, uh, our company, in, in our company, uh, such career path is uh, developed. Mm. I think uh, and it is shown to uh, employees. Uh, I think uh, such kind of uh, career path uh, would, might be useful to attract uh, young engineers. I see. So in, instead of instead of becoming the uh, people manager, yes, yes. Uh, you yeah. now Hitachi now have the option. To uh, throughout the career, you know, specifically, you know, uh, work yes, on the yes. open source. Uh, currently, the, spe the salary of a specialist and uh, the manager is the same. <laughs> mm. I see. That's good. Anyone else? Please. Well, this is not the company's story, but uh, I think we need a hero. Mm. Um, Leah Sobos, Greg Krahardman, James Bomley, they are my heroes. Mm. So. Someone, oh, I want to be like him or like her. Mm. We need a hero. And that how to make hero? That's openness. Yeah. Because uh, everyone used to be a newbie. Right. Right. And the newbie will be a hero in the future. So openness support to make the hero. Mm. So we need an openness. I think. Thank you. So I would like to. Okay. <laughs> So additional to the other uh, those people are discussing, I think to the I would like to mention about the importance of the community. Uh, the, I think to the community creates a new hero, and maybe a community accepts the new bee uh, the, who need to be helped. So the I think that we are hosting to the uh, the high pressure decentralized cross the Japan chapter for the. Uh, the open source community in Japan and local community very helpful because of the we Japanese have the certain difficulty for the understanding for the English documentations and coding or coding style. So the those cases uh, the, uh, the across the, the boundary of the each companies uh, the, those community help each other and that is very important for the newbie people and including to the, even the, uh, the very expertise are very helpful. So I think that that kind of the physical meeting or online meeting uh, opportunity is very important for the, to this kind of the, uh, the raise the uh, growth of the community. Mm. So what I would like to say something because since yep. everyone else. Uh, <laughs> I totally agree with uh, uh, the word talking about and one thing that I wanted to add was uh, maybe uh, to attract more people uh, we uh, uh, open source uh, uh, engineers uh, were uh, are, how do I say uh, highly recognized or highly evaluated in your company so uh, it is a very uh, important thing uh, to attract uh, junior people to, uh, to find some hero for them. Thank you. 
So uh, it's about the time, uh, unfortunately. But uh, you know, I would like to take just one question from the audience. You know, if there is any, uh, uh, someone uh, would like to ask a question. If not, uh, we are concluding the uh, panel. All right. Okay. Uh, thank you so much for the panelists. Uh, please uh, give a big round of applause to the, to the panelists. Thank you.